Hey guys, it's me, Adrian Unknown. Today, I'm in one of my favorite spots to fish. Again, disclosed location. If you know, you know. But um, yeah, I'm out here in southern New Mexico somewhere. By the river, obviously. And uh, I brought my big ass catfish rods. My Muddy River catfish flathead rod and my two blue cat rods. And I've also got these other ones right here. Before, I was using these weak ass squiggles. Boom. But these, they don't fit. Look, it does not work. So I had to resort to making my own fishing rod holders. Check these out, guys. So in the last video at the NMSU pond, you saw me uh, use this one right here, which is pretty much a piece of angle iron that I got from, I think it was Tractor Supply. I cut it to length and then I taped a tube here. This works perfectly, it's not gonna fall apart. But for these big chunky rods, this is what I made, guys. This is my solution to losing rods and breaking all sorts of stuff. So yeah, look, this is a heavy duty rod holder, Adrian unknown version. So this right here is pretty much the edging to a steel building. I found a long ass piece and I was able to secure it for free. It's really, really strong. I can't bend it, sharpened it really good. And then these little things you can get from Walmart in packs of four. These are like 12 bucks. It just comes as a plastic thing and you can attach them to your boat. What I did is I attached them to this metal via two holes that were drilled, some lock nuts and some carriage bolts. If you look in there, it's not gonna damage my rod at all. What's cool about this is that you can literally point it straight up or you can point it out at an angle. An important thing when uh, you're going to use something like this is that remember that this is steel. So if you use steel to hit steel, it's going to mushroom out. In that case, I brought my trusty piece of wood. This is a pecan, or was, one point. So I'm going to angle it out that way a little bit. And just give it a couple whacks. And with that, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Let's see what I'm gonna use first. Here we have my flathead rod and it's from my good friend, Chris Flores of Muddy River Catfishing. You can see it's just gonna slip right in there like that and it'd be absolutely perfect. My setup today is just a, a round uh, lead piece of weight or yeah, whatever. And then this is going to be on the ground and this is going to float up my bait and for my bait i'm going to use a secret bait taught to me by a friend on the interweb we're going to see if it works today i gotta go and secure it give me just a second i gotta go and find it look at this beautiful place though if you venture off that way, you will come across all sorts of cool stuff. There's the edge of a lake over there and everything. There, that's fine. Thank you. So here's my magic bait. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is because it wouldn't be magical after all. But uh, yeah, let's just see how magical the fish think it is okay i'll let you look at it though behold the way that these ho uh, hooks work is you see the bend that goes that way it's called a circle hook the reason why is because you don't have to do anything at all for the the, the hook to do its work you just chuck it out there don't pull on the line at all what is going on here Okay, sorry guys, chum the water a little bit, yeet. All right, now that's gonna sink all the way to the bottom. It's maybe about three to four feet deep. It's really not that deep guys. Even though it looks deep, it's not. Set your rod in there and then reel in the slack so you can set the trap.
just like that and now we wait guys anyways this is my somewhat secret spot secret because I'm not gonna tell you guys but yeah if you're a fisherman here in southern New Mexico you probably know where this is at and that's good enough for me here with this rod right here I'm gonna use some 30 pound line and this is a pen power stick same setup as before we're gonna ground fish I'm going to use a minnow this time I'm going to use I guess it's a medium size we couldn't secure any big ones today but whatever to keep this fish lively I'm gonna hook it from the butt or through the butt through the tail there like so that way he's lively in the water puts on a good show I'm going to use this new fishing rod holder the weaker looking one which is still a lot more stronger than half the ones you can buy in any store as you can see the river along that edge is shallow and along this shedge is deep so we don't even have to cast that far out there to to get to the fish guys oh look somebody left me a, a nickel how lucky so we're gonna use this one from the lake or the pond and let me tell you this is pretty heavy duty I'm just gonna put this down and angle it out that way yeah super strong guys I'll never have to buy another fishing rod holder again Look at that. Ta-da! Awesome. Some duct tape and some ingenuity. That's all it took. Check it out guys, look around. What a pretty place with the sounds of nature. I do have more than two rods, but there's three people out here. As always, follow the rules rules and regulations and all that shit you don't want to get popped by the man it's very expensive it's crazy how close to the water I am right here like if you just got close enough you could fall in but that's not gonna happen eventually I will get my little flat boat my uh, John boat and bring it out here can't be that deep I just got to get it registered again for this year and we'll be good to go Again guys, thanks for watching my channel. I know I haven't been doing too much. I've been working a lot. I love my work though. I get to uh, be around the devil's lettuce all day long and all the side products and all that cool shit. Like me on YouTube, Facebook if you can find me. And uh, yeah, I am a bud tender for high horse cannabis. Look for my name in the reviews pretty good at this can't say that about a lot of things but yeah I love my job all right guys now we wait I'll make another video when this thing gets exciting